HIE and seizures. Some babies who have HIE may also suffer from seizures. In our talk today, we will examine the connection between the two disorders. What is HIE? HIE is hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Hypoxia is relating to an inadequate supply of oxygen. Ischemia is regarding an inadequate blood supply. And encephalopathy is relating to the brain. So in totality, HIE occurs when the supply of oxygen and blood to the brain is inadequate, meaning it's not enough. And this can then lead to a brain injury. HIE can occur through many ways. For instance, if there are problems with the umbilical cord or the placenta itself, these possibilities may limit the amount of blood and oxygen getting to the baby. Uterine tachycystole, for example, that can also cause issues for the baby. Tachycystole occurs when there are an excessive and frequent contractions occurring during certain periods of time. Tachycystole does not allow the baby enough time to recover between contractions. Once the supply of blood and oxygen is reduced, as I said earlier, an injury to the brain can occur. Now, what are seizures? Seizures are uncontrolled bursts of electroactivity in the brain. Seizures are typically marked by shaking, jerking, and possibly temporary loss of consciousness. In babies, sometimes seizures can be difficult to recognize, and the movements can be very subtle. When observing your baby after birth, it is important to know that there are different types of seizure activity that may follow a hypoxic event. For example, subtle seizures. These seizures can often be missed because they can be difficult to recognize. The movement may be slight or mar marked by a fixed gaze or an extended tongue or the baby's eyes rolling back and the eyelids blinking and fluttering. Clonic seizures. These seizures are marked by rhythmic jerking movements. This type of seizure usually affects the neck, the arm, and the face. Tonic seizures. Tonic seizures usually occur with an increase in muscle stiffness. HIE and seizures. As a reduction in blood and oxygen reaching the baby's brain can cause HIE, the reduction can cause a brain injury. This brain injury can lead to seizures or alert that the brain has been injured. In trying to prevent brain injuries, there are tools which can be used by hospitals and doctors and nurses. The, these tools monitor the oxygen and blood perfusion to the baby during labor and delivery. One of these major tools is called the electronic fetal heart monitor. This device monitors the baby's heart rate along with mom's contraction patterns, among other things. It can alert the medical staff to how well a baby is tolerating a vaginal delivery. Where problems can occur is when the monitor is not properly checked or the signs of fetal distress go either unnoticed or ignored. This is Marcus at HIE Resource Place. We will talk with you next time.